Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. I've only just noticed that there's a tree there. Where did you grow from? <laughs> there's a tree. Very interesting. Good morning. Let's have a quick reading. Michael Bolton, time, love and tenderness is coming through because I still have this very gentle tender energy about me um, we're taking it easy I'm playing with the psychic tarot let's have a look and see what cards want to come out material and spiritual prosperity so, let's have a look and see what's going on in this card what we can see there's a masculine and I feel like he's thinking ahead into the future oh look at his little tree <laughs> well you've got how many can I see one two three four five six seven eight trees look your trees like this tree here let's uh, pop that there so you can see this little tree <laughs> Should we read this card? What's going on? Time, love and tenderness is needed. Moving forward now. Okay. Card number six. The six of pentacles. Let me tell you about the six of pentacles first. The six of pentacles is about balancing the scales, but you, you need to do that yourself. It's um, the minor arcana card the major arcana card will be justice but that's when the divine steps in i feel the divine has already um done its duty and now it's over to you to bring in this balance okay i feel like you're taking this seriously so let's read about the six of pentacles and what the message is The number six physical card represents a peaceful, tranquil time when problems seem to actually disappear. A sudden bonus, pay raise, or even a promotion could be in the offering. It could be unexpected, doesn't say that, <laughs> it could be unexpected. It says it could be expected or arrive out of the blue. This card may also signify a group that has worked and strived towards the success of a common goal. A time of prosperity, balance and harmony in your physical and spiritual existence is showing you that the practice of giving and receiving will bring you true riches. Look into your life and see where you can spread spiritual and physical wealth is there a person or a favorite charity that would welcome an act of kindness right now practice generosity gratitude and compassion so that you continue to prosper in all areas of your life okay well the cards are on my lap but i can see they kind of fell <laughs> Um, it was because I was like on my tippy toes even though I'm sitting down um, my legs were raised on my tiptoes so as I put my my heels to the floor the card slid and um, we have the sacral chakra and this here I feel is coming in with this energy of the sun okay the sacral chakra The key facts, the colour is orange, the sound is vam, the element is water, the glands are the testicles, ovaries and the key words, I want. What do you want? Known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotions, desires, creativity, 
and sexuality. To keep this chakra balanced, okay, so we're talking about um, bringing in the balance here with the uh, Six of Pentacles. So to keep this chakra balanced and its energy flowing, try dancing, moving your hips and lower abdomen. Use a color meditation and practice yoga. Express, express your sexuality and nurture yourself and remember, you do matter. Let's go to my little box of tricks here. Attention to detail. It was in reverse, but we'll turn that around. We are now paying attention to detail. Okay, let's see what cards want to come out. The card for the card. The cards feel a bit frustrated. A match made in heaven. I like that. A blast from the past. I feel these are memories coming back. And quitters never win. This person's not quitting, but they, they're feeling trapped and stuck. Okay, let's have a look into that then. You need to tap into your sixth sense, your third eye, your intuition. You're feeling trapped and stuck. Walk away from what no longer works. You're knowing that you're needing to do this, but you're feeling trapped. Okay, let's keep this message out and this one as well as a reminder. To walk away from what no longer works. Let's go to the channel of love cards. Okay, we've got three cards here. I'm shaking. Calm. Let's have some coffee. Cheers. Cheers. Remember, remember to be gentle on yourself. Okay, let's have a look at these cards. Mr. Romantic. That's being gentle with yourself, isn't it? And then the student. We're learning quickly. The Divine Masculine. That's who you're becoming. So you're learning quickly. Um, let's get you some guidance. Yeah, Divine Intervention. But I felt that energy. Oh, that's already occurred. So now what? Because you're willing to learn, it's not a nice feeling, feeling trapped and stuck and scared. But you're not here to feel those things. You're here to feel joy and happiness and love and, and passion and romance. Sex. <laughs> talk all over the place. Okay, we've got two parts. Love takes off masks that we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within. That's so true. Okay, so off come the masks that we're fearing that we cannot live without, but we now know that we cannot live within these masks anymore. And the next message. Naughty. Mildly rude or indecent, typically because related to sex. So you want him to be naughty, <laughs> a rebel. I'm going to take that card. I can spiritually see what is happening, but I'm not allowed to intervene. I actually feel that this is the energy of the Divine Feminine. She can see what's spiritually happening um, because she's tapped into her sixth sense. So she's understanding. She's not allowed to intervene. Uh, she's allowing it to all unfold. But the divine has intervened. There was divine intervention now. It's not the divine feminine. It's the divine that's intervened here. Stuck. And stuck. Stuck. Play with these cards now. I'm happy to be stuck with you. This is the energy of like, not wanting to put a ball and chain on anybody, 
but if you really don't want to like leave somewhere because well it's heaven there is no ball and chain but if there was you'd willingly put it on <laughs> I'm cool to just stay here in heaven with you <laughs> on earth. Okay, we're feeling paranoid but also excited. <sighs> Are we paranoid that this is too good to be true? Oh, come on. You know better than that. And you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose some advice there from Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. Insomnia. There's a lot of people that can't get no sleep <laughs> at the moment. We're just going through this uh, box of tricks here, this whole deck. Well, it's a container. Easy. That's why I'm easy. Why am I easy like Sunday morning? Because I tap into my intuition and it, uh, it soothes me and tells me the truth. And it supplies me with infinite intelligence. Delightful. In the most delightful way. Insomnia. Um, okay. Can we talk? I feel like someone's not really going to get any sleep until they actually have uh, this talk. It's raining. It's spitting. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. Maybe you're really sleepy during the day because you're not sleeping at night. He went to bed and bumped his head. What's that that's just gone underneath the table? I'm drowning in love <laughs> and couldn't get up in the morning. I can't reach it. <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm drowning in love and I can't reach it. Well, you're in it. You don't have to reach it, you're in it. I'm taking this very seriously. I know you are. Dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Why do you keep throwing the cards on the floor? Waiting for your ship to come in. Well, you don't need to, it's here. <laughs> your ship is here. Did you hear the horn? <laughs> it's not about hearing the horn, it's about feeling the horn. Busy working on the plans, okay. These are the plans, like, the plans are planned in the mind before they're executed so you get busy on thinking ahead and then the divine picks that up and manifests it for you your wish is my command home sweet home that's where uh, you're wishing for okay how do i get home sweet home i'm watching you I didn't know how to respond to that. I'm watching you. There's this energy of like, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> but then it's like, okay, I'm, I'm not scared. Um, this energy of, you know, fearing that you're being watched or spied on or... Uh, there was a paranoid energy. And it's like, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, then who cares who's watching you? And also remember that the divine is always watching you. Okay, that's why integrity. It's important how you behave when no one's around. How you think. Um, how you conduct yourself. There's always someone watching. So um, let's get over the paranoia. The divine's always watching you. Yeah. 
I've got the Rider Waits Arrow cards. We have the card of waiting for your ship to come in. Manifestation, I can see three ships now. That one's rather close. Well, it looks close, it looks bigger. Is this one closer over here? Which of these ships is gonna get to you first? Are they ships or are they candles? Because I'm taken to this here and it looks like, well, two sails, but then I was taken to candles. They're like candles. Um, I'm taken to the Memories of Love card from this deck, the um, Psychic Tarot, and like you're sending out like little tea lights. And but I'm taken to the, that one that's in between those two um, wands here. Now the two of wands is about partial success. So you're not going to feel complete without the other. But here there's two candles together and that's coming into sight. Because I feel that's where he's looking. Spiritual sight. So tapping into your sixth sense here. It's, it's right in front of your eyes. And always has been. Okay. It's just, you've changed the way that you're looking at things. So... The things you look at are changing. That's the card of I'm watching you. That's the surveillor energy. The surveillor. Did I call him the surveillor? <laughs> surveillance. Under surveillance. But look how tall she is. So she's not afraid. There's an air of protection around this feminine here. And she's quick on her toes. As light as the air, full of information, like she has the, the knowledge, infinite intelligence to share. Okay. It's masculine's fulfillment of wishes here. Now I felt the energy, I'm not gonna say that he's smaller, whether he feels smaller um, in character, but he, he will soon level up. He's already leveling up. This looks like this leaf here that's growing quickly. He's gonna be above the waterfalls here soon. Okay. The song that's coming through by TLC, Tender Loving Cow. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast. Nine of Cups. That's a beautiful card. Let's read the meaning of that card. And I've opened up, look, to Memories of Love. Because I was expecting to see that on the bottom of the deck, but it wouldn't have surprised me if it was on the bottom of the deck. But no, Fulfillment of Wishes. Memories of Love here. You may find yourself walking down memory lane at this time. This nostalgic card could indicate that an old friend or an acquaintance from the past may step back into your life, or it could even res resurrect loving images from days gone by. Well, we saw the, a blast from the past here. The rain's getting heavier, growing fast, look at that. With the rain it will, we just need some sunshine. <clears throat> After the rain, some sunshine and watch how things grow. Does this person, these happy forgotten moments, or those innocent childhood memories encourage you to recall and welcome the energy of love 
Is there a message or lesson from these fond recollections that could benefit you in your present life? The number six card relates to support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. So we're coming back to this balance here, a need for balance in the areas of emotion and love. The cards just fell on the floor. Material and spiritual prosperity. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past, but use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. Okay, are you ready for the fulfillment of your wishes? This card being one, if not the most positive of the minor arcana cards, represents emotional satisfaction, contentment and enjoyment. Your wishes are coming true. Are you ready? Happiness, success, good health, completion and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the palm of your hand. This card acts as a reminder to hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving what you've asked or strived for. Know that there, no, 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 yes. Know that <laughs> these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. This is the right time to heal those past memories that have been holding you hostage. Forgive others and yourself so that your wishes, desires and goals have a clear, unobstructed path to your heart, soul and life. How oh, beautiful. Two more decks from my box of tricks and then we're finished with a message from Rumi. So the flower language cards. We have wedded love. We have I love you. Always, forever. And we have memories. And the bottom of the deck, solitude. Let's go to the random cards. Easy. Take it easy on yourself. Make it easy on yourself. Okay. We've got three cards. We have destiny. And we have hard. And we have easy. Easy. The bottom of the deck. I'm sorry. It's okay. We're going to be letting go of the past. And moving forward with optimism, hope, joy, contentment, love, happiness, desire, fulfillment of dreams, actually getting to participate in the life that you've been desiring. Now, how nice does that sound? Let's finish with a message from Rumi. Love isn't hard, it's easy. Resisting love is hard. <laughs> so don't resist it anymore. Okay. Allow. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Okay, let's finish with a message from Rumi. We'll have this one. The Cloak of Christ. Card number four, the number of the Divine Masculine. In the school of humanity, when you become intimate with God, you reside on the King's throne and teach the angels the nature of the Divine, Rumi. My sacred brother, he who shares my heart and yours, beating as one in harmony with the great unending love, brings you the mantle of his protection. Do you imagine that there is any part of your life, of your body, of your soul, that is outside the realm 
of his divine love and protection. Offer all to him, leave nothing cast aside. He and I together receive you absolutely without condition now. The compassion born out of our own struggles tempers the karmic weight of divine justice. We have been through the same journey you are taking now, sweet divine soul. In oneness with the divine heart, we know of your efforts and your struggles. So what is bestowed upon you now is the restoration of forgiveness, of kindness, of mercy. My sacred brother speaks to you. He shall receive your darkness and your light, the angel of your heart and the demon of your fear. Nothing is greater than my brother's love for you. Nothing is greater than my holy passion for you. Take refuge under the cloak of Christ, the mantle of my sacred brother, and know that you are held in our loving sanctuary. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> you are tired, beloved. Your soul has been ravaged inside and out and you are succumbing to struggle that is not karmic or necessary but a symptom of fatigue and weariness of heart, mind, body and soul. That which plagues you, whether something specific or a general nagging malaise or anxiety you cannot quite pin down, is not as powerful as you fear. You are being given a grace, here and now, that it may be overcome. Remember your reactions are a symptom of your exhaustion and a sign that you need respite, sanctuary, restoration. They are not a sign that something must be done, so much as a sign that something must be received, allowed. That something is healing, made possible, through divine protection. In this instance, protection is bestowed through, through the cloak of the Christ. This cloak is a sacred container. <laughs> it's just so interesting because I was talking about, I've emptied my container. <laughs> so this cloak is a sacred container that places your body and soul within the loving energy of the Christ consciousness. This unconditionally loving energy is not limited to the being bearing its name, but is shared by Rumi and many other holy ones. It is typified by wholeness. There is nothing within you that would cause the Christ to turn away from you, not even those parts of you that may fill you with fear, shame, guilt or regret. He and, Ru he and Rumi our sacred brothers, loving and supportive of each other, and they see your soul as one of their family, one of their own. You are so loved by them both, equally and without measure. Can you allow yourself to take refuge in this knowledge, to feel it, not only as an idea, nourishing as that is, but as a visceral reality where you complete the sacred honouring ritual and allow yourself to feel the peace and receive healing. The knowledge of the Christ's unconditional love for you is a safe space, a place to fall into when you are struggling. It is a sacred container for your healing process, an energetic field that is stronger and more enduring than even the greatest fears or doubts. The purpose of this sacred container is to provide you with a feeling of being held, especially for those times when you are feeling that you cannot hold yourself. Sometimes we just need permission to break down, to really let go, to come apart and be dissembled so that we can break through, be lifted up and come together in a new, more spiritually coherent and loving form to move forward. For you, this is essential. 
There is a person, place, thing or belief that has come to be like a manacle around your wrist or an iron ball and leg iron preventing you from moving forward with the grace you have earned spiritually. You are being empowered here to shed that. Don't hesitate. Let yourself be cloaked in the Christ energy and receive the spiritual assistance you deserve now. There is a reason for this. The unfolding of your life purpose is taking a turn for the better and your energy is required to fuel that new life. This is particularly so if you have also drawn the oracle of passion for purpose. Just remember that whenever we are asked to release something, it is because the divine wishes to fill our hearts and hands with more. So do not hold on to scraps for fear that the feast will be denied to you. Use your nose, smell the feast awaiting you. Look at him using his nose here. He's, sm he's smelling this flower. We can see what the card is underneath. The chariot energy, triumph. I actually feel like the feminine here is so instinctively intuitive that she can see the red flags. And I feel like she's pointing these red flags or these red flags are being pointed out. Um, the chariot energy is very fast. Um, it's a, div a divine orchestration. It feels like the, the feminine here is uh, pointing out red, fl red flags. Should we say that? Okay, let's do the sacred honour and ritual. Open your arms wide above your head and tip your gaze gently up towards the heavens. If you are inside, imagine or intend that you can gaze beyond the physical structure of the ceiling right into the sky that lies above you. Lower your arms to prayer position at your heart and say aloud, if possible, Rumi and Jesus Christ, who love me without condition, Offer me the cloak of the Christ, the mantle of divine protection now, that I may receive the karmic grace and healing I need through the power and mercy of your presence. Thank you. Sit quietly and imagine you are surrounded by a dark, comforting cloak. You can easily breathe through it. You can easily see light within it or filtering through it if needs be. Or you may feel comfortable in the darkness. Let it be whatever is most rela relaxing and soothing for you. You may even imagine it to be the night sky dappled with stars wrapping around you. Close your eyes and relax now for as long as feels good. That may be for a minute, for 15 or 20 minutes or longer. Just be with what feels appropriate and best for you at this time. When you feel you are ready to arise from your rest, simply place your hands at your heart and say thank you. You may notice strong energetic sensations or emotions during this process or in the day following. You may notice repetitive thought patterns that you need to confront and challenge with more loving thoughts. You may have significant dreams in the evening following also. It may be very subtle for you, so much so that you wonder if anything has happened and if it has worked. It has. The effect will be demonstrated at the right time. Trust. So a very beautiful message to come in with this week's uh, guidance. <clears throat> okay, you need to trust. I believe the title for yesterday's reading was along the lines of um, just going along with everything that's happening now. Um, it's all going to unfold. Guys, have a lovely day. I will speak to you soon. Take care. Be gentle and easy with yourself, with life. Much love. Bye for now.